What is going on guys? I am back with part 3 for this tutorial on how to build this large suburban house. In this video we'll be finishing the exterior of the house and we'll also be doing the landscaping around the house. Alright, so I gathered up the blocks we're going to be using for the roof of the house and the windows that we plan on putting in the roof. So I have pillar quartz blocks, white stained glass panes, quartz stairs, blocks of quartz, quartz slabs, dark oak wood stairs, white concrete, and dark oak wood slabs. Okay, so make sure to have your pillar quartz blocks. And we're going to start by doing the windows in the roof above the garage area. So you can leave two wood stairs down at the bottom and here at the left we're going to leave four. So we have one, two, three, four. So you could be on the fifth block, we could cut out four. So you have two extra stairs down here at the bottom, four at the left. Then let's go to the right of this and skip over four. So we have one, two, three, four. Then you could delete one, two, three, four. So they actually should be lined up at the garage doors at the bottom. All right, now let's have our pillar quartz block. We'll place three on each side. Make sure to straighten out that bottom one. We'll do it over here as well. We'll do both of these windows at the same time. All right, switch to your full blocks of quartz. And you could go behind these wood stairs and fill in two. And then switch to your white stained glass panes and fill in four in between the pillars. And then above those white stained glass panes, you can have two upside down quartz stairs. Okay, before we go any further, let's delete one, whoops, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two of the dark oak wood stairs right behind the windows and pillars. Like that on each side. Make sure to still have your quartz stairs. We'll place them upside down in front of these pillars here. And then we'll have side, some on the side and one on the top. So one on the side, one on the top. We we'll do it here as well. And then we'll have upside down ones side by side. And then two side by side on the top. Behind these ones here where the upside down ones are, have two blocks of quartz. And since we have our blocks of quartz, let's place one right up against these wood stairs here. And then two on top of that. We'll do the same on this side. So one here and two on top of it we'll go back on the outside switch to your quartz slabs we'll have two coming out like that curve one in towards the window so two like that curve one in two like that curve one in two like that curve one in and then the last thing we have left to do are the wood stairs to finish off kind of like the roof of the window so switch to your dark oak wood stairs we'll place two on this layer then three, and then one, two, three, four, five. One, whoops, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one, two. So we have this window done. We'll do this one. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. And then the same on the side. All right, so there we go. We have the windows in the roof above the garage area. They are lined up with the garage doors, so we're all good there. Keep in mind, we still have to do the little lights that I plan on having above the garage doors. And then we have some lights where the front door is and some lights where this window is. But we'll do those last, along with the flower pots. We'll do all of that last. But we have those windows in the roof done, so that's all looking pretty good. So now let's do the big roof here for the main part of the house this part over here at the left is a little bit confusing 
So when I originally did this build, the reason why I'm rebuilding it is because the tutorial was really difficult to follow for the original version. So this roof, like with like keep in mind the tutorial itself wasn't very like explained very well let alone we have this roof over here which makes it even more confusing so i'm gonna take my time on that roof show you how it should be done because i know there were some comments on the original tutorial about that part being difficult so we'll go ahead and uh, take our time on that and do it right the first time so let's get on to doing the roof for the big part of the house Okay, so let's start shaping out the roof with our court stairs. I'll start over here at the right front right hand corner where this pillar is. We'll place an upside down stair. We'll have a slab here in the corner, an upside down stair, and then a slab. All right, then switch back to your court stairs. We'll bring these straight across until we meet up with that white concrete. Then we'll have another stair there, then a slab in the corner a stair and a slab we'll go on this side switch back to the stair place one a slab there slab in the corner two stairs and we'll leave it there for now because we have to count these blocks so we know when to start this triangle point so we'll leave it right there and let's actually do this triangle point here in the middle so let's go from this corner we'll place one upside down sideways stair and then we'll have one here upside down one here upside down and one here let's go on the other side we'll have a stair upside down and sideways like that then just regular and upside down back and forth until you line up with the other side all right we actually have to do it one more time on each side and then they'll both meet up like that let's go behind behind those stairs with your white concrete and go from right here and fill all of this in just on all of the inner stairs you don't want to go on the outside like that like i mentioned in part one or part two in part two i mentioned that okay so now from the outside it looks all filled in from the inside okay let's start shaping out the big triangle on this side so we'll go to the back corner switch to your quartz stairs we'll place one here one here have a slab in the corner and that is going to be brought across so just leave this as it is no slab there just leave that stair and then we'll have a slab here so we'll start here in this back corner switch to your court stair place one on the corner upside down and sideways and then just regular and upside down back and forth we'll bring it until we feel like we're about in the middle i won't count it or anything we'll just see here, I'll bring it up a little bit further until I feel like I'm about in the middle. So I would say one more. So right there, don't count it. We'll start bringing up this corner. So right here, just the same way that we did that back side, just back and forth. And then we'll see exactly where the center point is going to be. So let's continue bringing this up. okay so now we could see what we got to do we have to have one more on each side and boom they connect like that so we're all good there so before we go any further let's actually fill in all of the white concrete behind these stairs so i'll switch to that and i'm actually going to grab a potion of swiftness because this is a pretty big part so just go from like right here the same way that we've done all of the other white concrete where the triangle spaces are just go like right along all of the upside down stairs off the inner stairs don't go on the outside and fill it all in so let me use my potion of swiftness and i'll show you what it should be looking like after we get it done by the way i do want to mention there is since this roof is like really big uh there's gonna be a lot of space in the attic and i'm thinking i'm not going to use the space in the attic i didn't at the original build and normally I would because we could have literally oh man in this attic we could have probably three more bedrooms two more bath probably three more bedrooms three more bathrooms up in the attic alone but I really don't know how I plan on how I would plan on doing the staircase going up to the attic so I'll probably just leave it up to you guys so I'm gonna cover it up with the tutorial but if you guys want to use all of this space in the attic of this house as you can see 
it's gonna be like all of this space uh you can if you want to you just have to figure out where to bring up the staircase going up to the attic so uh maybe i'll give you some ideas if i could think of anything when we head on to the interior if i can't think of anything pretty good we might just use the attic space but for now i'm thinking i'm not going to so i want to keep that make sure that you guys know that but let's go over here to this side we're gonna cut out starting here one two three four five six seven eight have upward stairs upside down and then four blocks of glass panes here in that corner all right and now that should all be good so it looks like that and now we'll start doing the it's kind of it's not really confusing i won't make it confusing but it is a little bit strange how the roof ends up over here so it shouldn't be too hard and yeah, we just gotta count these blocks. We'll start forming this triangle shape. We have another triangle shape there. And I believe one more at the back. And then, uh, yeah, we have to fill it all in with wood. The wood is where it gets a little bit weird. So let's get on to doing this side now. Okay, so switch to your quartz stairs. We're gonna go right here, place them upside down. Starting here, you can place 10 towards the left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And now, let's have, here, let's see. I'm not sure if I should do that side. Here, let's go to this side. We'll have an upside down stair here. And here, a quartz slab there in the corner and a slab here. Now this part's gonna be a little bit different. Let's have a slab here. We'll go to this back part. We'll do the same thing. So quartz stair, quartz stair, slab in the corner, slab there and slab there okay we'll go back to this shape we'll start doing this one first so switch to your quartz stair we'll have one here in the corner then upside down and sideways and then back and forth until we're about in the middle so it's actually going to be lined up with the roof for the garage so as long as we're lined up with that then we are all good okay we'll stop it right about there and we'll start bringing this part up Remember, upside down and sideways there. So that means right here, we're going to have... Yeah. We'll have upside down stair there, and then a slab. And then we'll just do back and forth right here. Alright. Then upside down stair leaving off here in the middle with a slab on top. A little bit different but it is lined up with the roof for the garage here as you can see all right and we won't fill that in quite just yet and i want to do the same roof on the back part just like this so let's go ahead and do that so we're just going to line it up we'll start right here in the corner we'll place one then upside down and sideways and we'll count it so we know exactly that it's like exactly the way it should be so we have one then two, three, four, five, six, and it's going to be stopped there. Let's have an upside down stair and a slab, and it's all lined up, and then we'll work our way down. So we have one, two, three four five six and then we have upside down and then one here then we have upside down right here a slab and then some quartz stairs here which will be uh, brought across to match up with the quartz stair that we have here like that all right so that's all good shouldn't it be too difficult it'll all be fine so yeah now that's all matched up so this is where it gets a little bit weird i understand how to do this roof now but when i originally did it i don't know how it ended up happening but now i understand so we have our quartz stair we're gonna have one right like kind of um turned on its side like that a corner one right next to this stair in the corner we'll do the same on this side 
So we just like face this direction and place it. So we'll have an upside down one and a regular. We'll do that on this side. So upside down and then regular. So it's like upside down and sideways. Here, we need to replace this slab with the stair. And then we're gonna have a slab there. Let's do that on this side as well. Replace this slab with a stair and then a slab there. And now it's just like a normal roof. So upside down and then just like a regular one back and forth until we meet up with about the middle. So I'll bring it up to about right, oh, pretty far actually. I would stop it right around there and let's start bringing this side up and then we'll see where the middle actually is. Oh man, it's not placing, come on. Okay, so now just both of these are going to be side by side like that. Okay, and this triangle point is going to be one block, like one level lower than that one. As you could kind of see, this one is one level lower. That one's a little bit taller. So we have to do a, like a weird little shape when we do the wood stairs, which I'll show you. Don't worry. Don't freak out. It's all good. <laughs> So now let's go within all of these shapes with our white concrete. I'll use a potion of swiftness and we'll just fill in all of that empty space. Same way that we did that one and that one. So I'm just going to do this and I'll see you guys when I have it all filled in. And then we'll get on to doing the wood stairs for the roof. And then we have all of the windows in the roof. Okay, I'm doing the last shape right now. Once again, make sure not to like place a block right here so it's on the outside. Just leave it all on the inner blocks. And there we go. So it looks like this, just all filled in. All right, now if you wanna add a little bit more, let's have like a little window here. So we'll delete three blocks, have an a regular stair and an upside down stair and a glass pane we'll do similar design here so it's going to be two 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 and two so we're going to be doing the same way the same window that we did on that side so upside down stair regular stair white stained glass panes and then right here one two three regular upside down glass pane Okay, now let's uh, start using our dark oak wood stairs and our dark oak wood slabs. And we're gonna start filling in all of the roof. And we're just gonna like follow along all of the quartz stairs. After we have this filled in, we got some windows in the roof here in the front that I plan on doing. And then we have like the flowers and flower pots and the lights. And then we have the main exterior of the house done. We'll be heading on to the landscaping. So. Uh, I have my dark oak wood stairs. Let's get on to doing all of the roof. Just filling it all in. Okay, I'm going to start over here at the right. We'll go right here. Just add a layer of dark oak wood stairs and curve it and connect all of the stairs. So you're just like basically in between all of the quartz stairs and filling it in with the dark oak wood stairs. We're going up one layer every time, bringing it out one extra layer like one extra block so it all connects when we curve it okay and then we just have one more and then we'll curve it is that is the last one for this side and now what we got to do is we're going to continue this and we're going to bring it straight across and start connecting it with that roof which makes it a little bit weird so let's actually, before we get confused, let's see. We'll start doing this part first. So we'll go down here at the bottom. We'll go here and just connect them all like that. We'll go up another, wait a sec. Okay, yeah. And then we'll go right here and start that, connect it like that. It's a little bit different there. Go up here. 
wrap it around. Okay, curve it into there, go up again. Okay, and then just one more. Okay, so it's going to connect right there. All right, so we have this like a uh, bottom section for the front part of the house done. It looks like that. Okay, so now after we do this, uh, I was wondering why it looked a little bit weird here with the quartz stair, and that was because at the original build, this wood was like quartz stairs. It just had like one layer of quartz stairs that have all these special upside down ones and stuff, but it'll be fine. It still looks good. But now what I want to do is uh, continue with the dark oak wood stairs. We're going to wrap this around and bring it all the way across to the other side and connect it with the stairs over here. All right, let's go up another layer, do it again. And then let's see. Okay, so we're gonna stop it here for now. And then we're gonna go back on this side. We're gonna go up on this layer. We're gonna bring it across again, except instead of turning it towards the left, we're going to uh, turn it. Well, I guess it is kind of still towards the left, but we're gonna stop it here and we're gonna turn it right here and bring it around until we're lined up with the stair on that side. So we'll just stop it here for now. And then we have the slab here, so we'll leave that. So let's go to the back side so we know how far to bring that. So just leave that where it is. Doesn't matter how many it is, just leave it. We'll go from the back and we'll start this layer. We'll start bringing it up until we reach the same height as that side and then we'll know how far to actually bring that piece. So we have this layer right there. We'll go up again. I won't skip any of this. I'll uh, follow along along. I'll follow along with you guys so that it is all done the correct way because it is a little bit confusing. It's probably, out of all the roofs that I've made, I don't know why this one turned out so weird, but we'll get it done. We'll get it done together. No worries. All right, oh, didn't mean to do that. So we got another layer. Let's just bring this across. Go up another layer again. All right, still got to go up again. So right here, we're almost done. And then we'll be able to match that wood up to where it needs to be. So I think we have two more layers after this. So we have this layer. And then that last layer is the one that I believe we're going to be connecting. So right here, we'll stop this. So we're just left at the slab. So yeah, now this... Now we know how far to bring it. We have to bring it one more. And then we're turning it back towards this direction and connecting it back with these stairs over here. Okay, and then we're gonna continue working this up until we have it all filled in. So I'll just do that. So just wrap this all around on that inner part. So it's gonna wrap around here like this and then back towards the other side. Okay, I'm actually gonna stop it here before we go any further because we have all of these stairs which we actually don't need. So we'll leave it like that. And now let's start bringing up with this side. So we have these slabs. Let's grab our dark oak wood slabs. We'll start here. We'll place one, two, three, four, five six and we'll go on the back we'll do the same thing one two three four five six and now we'll, we're back here let's switch to the dark oak wood stairs and we'll work our way up so just in between all of the quartz stairs and work your way up until you have it all filled in All right, so connect it right there. 
And then here, once we reach this layer, we're gonna bring this across. And then we have to connect it to this part of the roof. So we have to delete this and it's gonna connect right there. All right, we have to have an extra slab here. So I'll make that seven. We'll do the same on this side. Let's actually add the extra slab now, so seven. And we'll bring up this side. So this is probably the part that was a little bit confusing with the original build. So I'll show you it one more time so you could see what I did. So we just bring this up like normal. Okay, so we have this last layer. We're gonna wrap that around right there. And then we have this one. So we're gonna bring this across right here. And once we reach this part, we have to delete this stair here. So that connects with each other. Then we could delete this. We'll go on this side. We'll bring it across. We have to connect it again. So delete this block here. Let's do the same on this side. Bring it across right there delete this block it curves together so it all works out now we'll continue doing that we'll go right here and we'll just follow along all of these stairs now and just work your way all the way towards the other side okay let's go up again on the other layer so yeah, now I understand why this was confusing the first time, especially considering I probably went really fast the first time. So understandable why this part was a why this part was confusing. All right, we're on the last layer. Then we have the entire front side done, and then we just have to fill in those few little layers on the back side. And I was thinking we could do the windows in the roof, the flowers and flower pots, and the lights. And I think I'm gonna leave that leave it at that for part three. Oh, we have one more. Oh, okay, I see. So this part, we've got to continue along and then we're just gonna go straight back along the other side. So we're gonna go right here, wrap that, whoops, wrap that around and then just straight back towards the other side. So yeah, I'm thinking we'll finish the entire exterior of the house here in part three. And then in part four, we'll do the landscaping. And I'm not sure how long the landscaping is gonna take. It shouldn't take too long. We might be able to have time to do the landscaping and then all right so right here we have to curve this in and then match it up to the other stair so yeah we might have time to do some of the interior along with the landscaping in part four or we might just leave part four entirely just the landscaping we'll see how long the landscaping takes all right and then we just have the last layer that we have the roof for the most part done we just have to do the windows in the roof okay there we go so it should form that weird looking shape it's all good so yeah a little bit confusing but it's all good we got it done hopefully you guys did it right and there we go so now we just have some windows to put in the roof right there in the front we have some flowers and flower pots for those little like flower bed things. Lights above the door up there where the porch or the balcony is and above the garage doors. And we'll leave it at that for part three. So let's get on to doing all of that. All right, let's do the windows and the roof up here. And I think after we do that and do all of the other little stuff, I think we should still have time to do the landscaping because there's really not that much landscaping. It looks like a lot but there really isn't that much. So we'll see if we have time. But let's switch to the pillar quartz blocks. We wanna leave two blocks of wood stairs at the bottom. We're gonna line up with this glass here, skip up two, make sure you're on the third block. So we're gonna cut out one, two, three, four, like that. We're gonna skip over three, so one, two, three. So we're on the fourth block, so one, two, three, four. We'll do the same on this side. So line up with this glass here. Skip up two. One, two, three, four. Skip over three. Then one, two, three, four. Okay. So make sure to have your quartz, your pillar quartz. We're going to have one, two, three. One, two, three. 
one, two, three, one, two, three. We'll just do this side for now. We'll do that side afterward. Afterwards, uh, let's straighten out these bottom blocks. And then switch to your uh, block of quartz. We'll place two behind the dark oak wood stairs. Then your white stained glass panes, four in total. And then upside down quartz stairs. And then let's delete one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, whoops. One, two, one, two. Okay. Let's switch to the full blocks of quartz. We'll place one here along that stair, one here up, up against that stair, and two on top of it. Go on this side, one here, one here, and two on top of that. Upside down quartz stairs. Place them in front of the pillar quartz. And then we have to have one on the side and one on top. Top, whoops, top side side top top side and then two upside down side by side and upward side by side then two full blocks of quartz behind these upside down quartz stairs okay and then upside down quartz or er, <laughs> upside down quartz slabs regular quartz slabs two on each side curve it towards the window that side boom that side boom and then we have to finish it off with the dark oak wood stairs so we have two here then three and then there should be like five on this layer so one two three four five one two three one two okay so now i'm going to do the windows on the other side on my own and you guys should be able to do them just uh, follow along the exact way that we just did these ones so it looks like that we're all good so now let's do the same thing on this side I'll just go ahead and do this and I'll show you what it should be looking like after we have it done Okay, I just did both of these windows on this side. They are all good. So now we have all of those windows in the roof done. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'll just clear everything that we have. Let's grab some flower pots and I'll want to use these ones. The Azure Bluette. All right, we'll place two flower pots in front of all of these windows. Just right, not there. Well, I guess you could have maybe some like that but i'm not gonna have any here so just two like this side by side we'll go on this side just go all the way around for all of these little like uh what are they uh flower beds on the second floor windows okay then fill all of these in with the flower or you could use whatever flower you want you could i feel like maybe another good flower i guess would be like white tulips maybe even some blue orchids a nice blue touch of like blue color it's all up to you all right and then we have to do these ones up here Okay, and I think that is all of, oh, okay, I thought we missed those. I think that's all of the second floor windows. So let's clear that again. Let's grab some sea lanterns and iron trap doors. We'll put two lights up in here. You can maybe put them up that far, but I'm not gonna do that. We'll put two here and then just some iron trap doors. We'll go here. We'll dig out two layers like that, put some sea lanterns in there, dig out the uh, slabs and the white concrete, the two sea lanterns there, cover these up. We able to cover, nope, okay, never mind. So there we go, now we have some light shining down there. And yeah, we. I think we should still have some time to do the landscaping. 
but at the same time it might we might not <laughs> uh, i think i'm gonna leave it at that because the roof we didn't skip over any of that so that was kind of just like all uncut that took up a lot of time so i feel like we'll leave it at that for part three and in the start of part four we'll be doing the landscaping as you can see it's just like this large driveway and then the small backyard that's about it i'm not going to be doing those custom trees i really don't like how those look we'll just do some regular trees like some large oak trees but yeah i'm gonna leave it at that for part three so in the start of part four we will be doing the landscaping and we'll head on to the interior in that video as well okay so that is going to be it for part three for this tutorial on how to build a large suburban house if it helped you be sure to please leave a like subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in part four later